Peanut butter and chocolate keto ice cream. Since it is summer, there's no better dessert to make than a keto ice cream. This recipe, again, it's super, super easy to make and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. So, let's jump into the ingredients. For today's recipe, we're gonna need one cup of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, two tablespoons of unsweetened peanut butter, two tablespoons of erythritol, one tablespoon of unsweetened chocolate chips, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. As I said, this recipe is super easy to make. We're gonna need a mason jar like this to shake it a lot. So, the first step will be to pour our whipping cream into the mason jar. Then we add the vanilla, cocoa powder, erythritol, and since the peanut butter is really sticky, I like to measure it with my scale. This is not necessary. If you don't have a scale, you can just measure two tablespoons of peanut butter. So 30 grams of peanut butter I'm gonna be pouring in there. Okay, once I've measured my peanut butter, I'm just gonna remove the scale. And lastly, you add your chocolate chips. Now you just close your mason jar. We're just gonna shake this baby till all the ingredients are mixed together. But more important, you have to reach kind of like a heavy whipping cream consistency. So it's gonna take a while and your arm might hurt a little bit after, but just keep shaking it. Okay. So 10 hours later, it's finally all mixed up and I'm gonna show you guys the consistency it has to have. So this is how it should look. It's a really thick kind of whipping cream mix. The next step will be to pop this into the freezer for around two hours or as long as it needs to reach that frozen ice cream consistency. See you in two hours. So exactly two hours have passed since we put the ice cream into the freezer and now I'm gonna take it out right now. Right here, I'm gonna open the ice cream and it seems to be ready. I'm gonna transfer it into a bowl and I'll show you guys how it looks. So I just transferred my ice cream into my bowl and just so you guys know, this portion we made is enough for around 5 scoops of ice cream, so I will say it's enough for 2 people. So there you have it guys, peanut butter and chocolate keto ice cream. It's so good, as you guys saw, it's like super super easy to make and it's perfect for summer. Let's try it out. Mm, it's so good. It's super creamy, like the chocolate is not too powerful, so you can taste both the peanut butter and the chocolate. It's uh, This is one of my favorite keto desserts. My husband is such a fan of peanut butter and he loves when I make this. I hope you guys make the recipe and like the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, turn on the bell notification button, and leave me a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching, see you guys on the next video.